Hey everyone, I'm JC from Lawn Squad Mo, and I'm here with Heather from Echo. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the accessories uh, as far as um, what Echo has to offer. We are here in Louisville, Kentucky for the GIE Expo. Uh, great to be here, great to see everybody around. Uh, maybe you want to tell a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do for Echo? Yes, uh, I'm Heather Berwanger. I'm the Associate Product Manager for Accessories, uh, as well as tiller cultivators, wheel trimmers, chipper shredders, and cutoff saw. Awesome. Awesome. So um, obviously, what do you think so far of the uh, GIE Expo this year? I'm, I'm excited to be back. I can't yeah. wait to see uh, when we open up full how, how it goes. Yeah, it's going to be great. So this whole entire week is going to be an awesome uh, span of events that are going on. And we're actually ex uh, celebrating Echo's 50th uh, anniversary. Uh, yeah. We just had a nice welcoming party uh, in the indoor booth and we're going to be celebrating all week. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, we're going to talk about accessories, and you, from what I understand, you work in the uh, accessories uh, department for I do. Echo. I do. Okay. So, as far as accessories go, um, what would be something that you think would help a landscaper, uh, day in and day out, be more efficient and more productive in their work? So, I Echo has a Pro Attachment or PAS series, series and, and it, it allows, allows the user, user to have, have one power head. head that would uh, use 16 attachments, attachments including a blower, a tiller cultivator, a bed redefiner, edger. Um, it just allows them to only maintain one power head. Uh, you can buy the tools that you need for your job. It also offers some flexibility in expanding your fleet. And there are sometimes uh, tools that you don't use very often on a regular basis and you don't want to buy a dedicated tool so it offers that flexibility by just having the attachment for something that's not used uh, very often. Yeah I can definitely say that I benefit from Echo's PAS system uh, which I use myself. Uh, it's always nice to have that one dedicated uh, power unit and then be able to go to different accessories or different attachments I should say uh, to utilize whenever you run into something from work and just a quick and easy switch and you have a completely different tool which I think really does help with productivity. Yeah the, the toolless coupler does make it very easy to switch out attachments. Yeah and there are other models within the Echo line that use the PAS system as well too. Um, there are I including our, our new uh, Echo E-Force 56 volt uh, system that also utilizes the attachments, uh, same attachments from the gas powered units also on the 56 volt system. And that's new for uh, this year from what it I is. understand, right? It, it was is. just kind of unveiled and uh, so uh, yeah, that's great, um, especially you know with the electric units or battery operated units uh, being more introduced and kind of the technology catching up with today's day and age. I think a lot of more uh, landscape companies are going to be able to benefit from using uh, the PAS system with the battery, battery operated units as well too. So if a landscaper today uh, runs gas powered equipment and they have all these attachments and wants to switch over to the battery system, the E-Force battery system, they can use those same attachments and so that's great. They're, they don't have to worry about buying all new attachments. That's, that's, that's pretty awesome because I know I have that myself and I'm very interested in the battery units. Uh, as far as some of the accessories that Echo offers, um, what are some things that you think a landscaper could overlook or sometimes we can kind of forget to do at times that um, you think would be wise for us to always keep in mind and remember? So I think uh, personal protective equipment, PPE, is the most often overlooked. Most people will wear glasses, uh, but we often forget about hearing protection. Uh, while you may not seem that it's very loud, using the equipment on a day-to-day -day basis really has an impact on your hearing. Running a chainsaw is very dangerous. We want to make sure that you're protected by wearing chaps, headgear, gloves. Uh, just every day in you know, daily landscaping, gloves offer protection. They also can reduce vibration. Dust masks can be used for cutoff saws so you don't get those particulates uh, breathing the particulates in. So I think that you, know, you want to be safe out there and in order to be safe, you need to wear personal protective equipment and the safer we are, the reduced injury, and then we can get our jobs done. I agree. I know being safe is the number one priority, and oftentimes we forget to do that on a daily basis. I know that at times I have been uh, you know, guilty of that myself, but um, I, I know Echo does a great job with promoting PPE and the use of PPE, especially when it comes to, like you said, uh, wearing gloves, wearing goggles, uh, hearing protection is very important. So it's something that we definitely want to keep in mind when we're doing our daily tasks in and out and making sure we're getting our job done and being safe and being able to go home at the end of the day. Yep. So I know this year, or maybe last year, Echo uh, introduced a new line of wheel trimmers. And I myself 
um, do not utilize those, but what would you recommend or what would you say to a landscape company that has never used one before and maybe could may be considering uh, making a purchase for their business? So wheel trimmers are a great option for people who have uh, ranch farms, uh, large fence lines, bigger areas that they need to cut that you know you wouldn't be able to do with a string trimmer. It has a bigger cutting swath which would mean wider cuts. So those tasks that you, like you said, you can't use just a string trimmer all day. It also helps uh, for somebody who has physical limitations, say they, you know, back and neck issues, they can trim by just pushing the trimmer and make it easier. It's a, it's a great option for that. Now, like I said, I've never tried one, but I know we might have a few out here in the demo area, so I'm looking forward to maybe even trying that out later on this week uh, for myself just to see if, what I think about them. So, um, yeah, we're here at the GIE Expo, guys. It's really great to be back um, celebrating, again, Echo's 50 years, uh, anniversary, 50 year anniversary. And uh, we look forward to seeing what Echo has in store for the future. So thank you, for thank you very Jason. much. Yes, it's Appreciate a it. pleasure.